What's up guys, I'm the East Coast fan and look at all these people. You know what time it is. It's Riding of the Bull. It's an ace event at Six Flags Great Adventure. Ooh, they're letting people in. Uh, and there's gonna be a lot of fun things to do today. I'll try and share them with you guys. And let's get on with it. Today's gonna be fun. Alrighty guys, so we are now inside the park. As you can see, there is nobody here. Ace members and employees are basically the only people in this park. And you can also see they're setting up uh, Fright Fest decorations. This is the weekend before Fright Fest actually starts. So they have the pumpkin in the middle. Sooner or later they're going to turn the water in that fountain red. And as we round this corner, you're going to see that this pathway has all these like pillars. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a scare zone in the park during Fright Fest. But anyway, I'll see you guys at Nitro. Alrighty guys, we're in line for Nitro. You can see all these coaster enthusiasts over here. Batman up there. I did see a Tesco, so hopefully that'll be open close to when the park opens. And then to the left here is uh, Safari Kids, which to the right of that, in between this and Congo, is where Jersey Devil is going to be. I'm gonna see if I can find anything interesting over the fence in this area uh, later in the day. But first, let's ride Nitro. What a beauty. Man, this coaster is hauling this morning. Yeah, so I was able to do four rides during the CRT. I'm debating whether I should do a fifth or go in line for Wonder Woman Justice League because right now it is 10:14. Uh, so if I go in, and do this again, I'll be probably one of the later people in the line. But if I go now, I will uh, be one of the first. But one thing I forgot to mention today is that the uh, really the amount of coaster enthusiasts here, um, a lot of them you may or may not know, but one of them you might know and I'm hanging out a lot today with is New England Coaster Fan. So we're going to be probably hanging out most of the day. Yeah, but this coaster, a lot better than last year, that's for sure. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later. So like I said before, uh, Jersey Devil, which there's a poster for right there, is going to be right next to Congo Rapids. and. I'm not sure how much you could see over this fence. I'm gonna go around later, but I'm not sure. This could probably be a possible entrance for the ride or a new path. And it's right next to the Dippin' Dot stand over there. So I'm heading to the Wonder Woman, Cyborg, and Justice League area. I decided not to do a ride on Nitro just because I may have a chance to do it later on today. And it looks like right now there's actually people on Wonder Woman. So that's a good sign. But I'll see you guys later when I get off those two rides. So you guys can probably guess where I am now. Wow. Now this is not the first time I've ridden this ride, but we do get first line privileges, so why not use them? This ride is a lot of fun. I've done this one and Crazanity. It's amazing. I can't wait to ride this again. There's a nice over there. But yeah, I'll see you guys after the ride. Just 
just had a fantastic ride on Wonder Woman. Heading to Justice Week now, and maybe Cyborg, we'll see. But one thing I forgot to mention is the tours today. So far, I've signed up for one tour, however, I may do another one. We'll see how things go. But I'm gonna do a Ka, Zumanjaro, and Bizarro tour. So that's going to be really fun and something different. Um, so something I'm really looking forward to doing. But right now, we got Justice League. This is an amazing ride. And for the Riding of the Bull, they actually hand out awards to people who score some of the highest scores of the day. So, I mean, I'm probably not going to do that well. There are like professionals here, but I'm going to have a lot of fun. So let's do this and maybe that. Just got out of Justice League. I did it twice actually. The first time I got 98,000 and then the second time 78,000. So you know, I think decent attempts. It's probably not going to be the top score, but it'll do. Probably gonna head over, maybe do Sky Screamer, but then take the Skyway towards El Toro and King the Ka. You can kind of see a maze right here called Aftermath. And over there, later on, will be where we eat. So I will meet you at the next ride. We just left the Skyway and are now heading towards the bowl. However, I might eat lunch on the way. And then I got my tour. Yeah, so in the meantime, I did Sky Screamer. Fun fact, this is actually the first time I've ever ridden uh, Sky Screamer before. And it was a lot of fun. I had a good time on it. Here, let's see. Yeah, so the park opened about a half hour ago, and so far it seems pretty decent. I mean, I looked into the parking lot, but you know, you can't judge it now. You have to see how it is later. There's the Joker over there. And that is where I'm heading. Here she is, the ride you've been all waiting for, the ride this event is based on, Tango. Oh, and a world-class coaster next to it. But in all seriousness, um, I'm probably not going to ride it right now. One, because we have ERT at night. And two, I could just do it later. Right now, though, I am heading towards the sea goodbye. Soon. Amazing. Yeah, but I'm heading towards uh, the King Mika Zumanjaro Bizarro tour. And they said to meet by the Cobra Roll, so that's where I'm going. Maybe I'll hit a ride or two. Maybe Bizarro. Maybe Runaway Mine Train. Well, not my favorite coaster. Still something to ride. And also, I just had lunch. Our early lunch, it was about 11.15. But that's because we have an early dinner. And I... I and I want to use my lunch credit. But to the left over here, this is where El Diablo used to be. And where Rolling Thunder used to stand. But now that it's gone, even though we're getting Jersey Devil next year, this is a possible spot for our next roller coaster. But anyway, I'll see you guys at the tour.
Alrighty guys, we are now at Pizarro and it is time for our tour.
right, I just finished the King the Ka, Bizarro, and Zumanjaro tour. It was fantastic. I got so many great shots. Really, it was cool how close you can get to this ride. So right now, I'm gonna try and make it to the Haunt Tour. This is, I believe, Big Top Terror. And unfortunately, I can't film inside, but I'll tell you how it is when I get out. I'll see you later. So it's been a while since I've last talked to you guys. Last time I said I was doing a Haunt Tour and i did it it was amazing in there like they had so many cool props um but then after that i did a few rides i did king the ka superman and the parachute tower so now it's 2 45 i'm like trying to rush to get in the group picture and then we're gonna eat so i'll see you guys there <laughs> so we just finished dinner inside of this catering hall or pavilion and I just want to thank the uh, ACE organization and Six Flags for setting this up. Uh, it was great. The food was great. The service was great. And they did a great job. So I'm just going to do some uh, things relating to my mem membership for next year and I'll be back on the rides so I was just walking uh, to see what's over the fence and I stumbled upon this mess of enthusiasts trying to give their reaction of Jersey Devil it's a little bit behind the scenes too okay okay get back in line so I'm by the Looney Tunes seaport right next to Taz Tornado they have this fence up but you can actually look behind the fence where the kitty coaster is and the seaport barnstormer is also and this whole area is going to become the new area of Jersey Devil so far though I've heard from others that there's really nothing going on so I think a lot of the construction will happen over Fright Fest and Holiday in the Park. But I'm really excited for this edition and I gave my thoughts in a video made by New Jersey Coasters. So check his channel out. It's very good. And I'm excited for the new edition. So I don't know how, but I've somehow been involved in this group. And there's Officer O'Leary and New Jersey Coasters. Avery's up there. And I really don't know what the heck we're doing. I'm just walking with these guys. Anybody here a football fan? Nobody. Is everyone here? Sounds good. There's no photos. There's no photos. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the park's getting a little bit more crowded. But I don't think it's nearly as bad as last year. And the weather is perfect. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm going to put it... So a lot of time has passed, as you can see, it's uh, almost sunset now. We just got done with two great rides on El Toro. This thing is hauling today, and hopefully it'll continue this for tonight for the ERT. But right now we're gonna head on to different rides, and I'll see you guys later. Alrighty guys, we finished ERT on El Toro. Now I'm leaving a little early, I'm leaving at 11 o'clock. The ERT extends for another hour, actually. But in total, I was able to get uh, nine rides for the day. 
seven of which were during that ERT period. So I think that was a really successful day. And the ride was hauling like crazy. Like it was going super fast. You may be able to see it coming around or it might be too dark, I'm not sure. You can definitely hear it though. Yeah, so overall, I had a fantastic day today at Riding of the Bull. Today has been one of my favorite great adventure days of all time, and I'm looking forward to next year. So, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a like. If you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!